What is it like working inside the business and technology team at Power Home Remodeling? We'll talk about that ahead of the Technically Developers Conference. Wow, that animation gets more dramatic every time. Hey, I am Chris Wink. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Technically. We're a news organization that serves the community of technology. Uh, technology professionals and entrepreneurs ahead of the Technically Developers Conference. Uh, we are displaying uh, dramatic animations and talking about what it's like working inside uh, tech teams around the country. Today, we're talking to uh, Ben Klein. He's the VP of Business Technology at Power Home Remodeling. Ben, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Good to be part of the drama. And so, yeah, I mean, that's, it's a dramatic time. We got it. This is the fun of it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, like probably softball question, Ben, but like, you were at Power Home Remodeling, an interesting company for lots of reasons, one of which being some from the outside might, might not even recognize the amount of technology that you guys are working on. So tell me a little bit about why you like working at Power. Um, what does it look like uh, uh, for you? Yeah, that's a great question. So I've been at Power for 12 years now, and I've really reflected on this a lot over the years. Um, what I like about Power is the culture that we have within the company, um, both from a technical standpoint, the way that we choose to build things, um, and the way that our the, the developers work together, the teams work together to build. Um, but I think even bigger than that is what I love about Power is the people. Uh, it's what brought me to the company. It's what keeps me at the company. Um, it's what I love most. I love that. So let's do what's it like inside the business and technology team or at Power generally. You know, give me a little sense of of that, some context. You guys have grown quite a bit of the last several years as, as we've reported a fair bit. So give me lay of the land what it's like working at Power and business and technology specifically. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So we've grown tremendously over the last few years. Uh, as you know, um, as the company has continued to scale, we need a lot of uh, people to help make that vision possible. Um, we've long been a hybrid team where we have about half of the uh, people who create the software technology as remote employees working throughout the United States, uh, in South America and, and the Philippines. Um, and then we have the other half based here at our headquarters in Philadelphia. Um, so that's kind of a unique aspect is uh, blending those those two cultures, and those two sets of teams, uh, which is really, really one team. And we do a lot to make that feel like one big team. Mm. Um, we're a fairly diverse team, which is something I'm really proud of. Um, obviously, there's there's always more we can do to continue to improve diversity, both in technology and in construction, which is our industry. Um, but I'm actually really proud of what we've done so far, uh, bringing diversity in, you know, both uh, ethnic um, diversity as well as, you know, women into the industry. Mm. And yeah, you say a little bit more, you know, that, that dual industry is interesting, right? Like you guys, as we might, I hope, get a little bit into our building technology inside construction. Um, you, you have like rough size of the overall organization, employee count, business and technology. How big a team is that? And um, just say a little bit about, um, yeah, what it's like working in that context, what kind of operation it is. Yeah, absolutely. So we're about 2,800 employees now across the country. Um, yesterday, we opened our latest territory. We expanded into Pittsburgh, um, but we go as far west as Phoenix, uh, as far south as Tampa. Um, so we're a nationwide company. Uh, within that, we have about 170 people in the technology uh, department, business technology group. And that is everything from you know designers to developers to support team members, um, you know, just the, the, a full service technology division. Hmm. Right question for me always is who, who thrives? Who, who does great in, in, powers, in power setting? You know, I think the people who thrive are the ones who are the most curious. And I don't just mean curious about technology. I mean curious about everything. Uh, people who can bring a well-rounded set of understanding about the, the tools that they bring to the job, right? You know, the, are you a great developer, I think, is curious about not only what they're building, but how that fits within the larger ecosystem. But then that same thing is true of what they build supporting the business. So being curious about how does the business operate? How is the software that I build used by real people in the real world? So a sense of curiosity goes a, a really long way. Also, we're a group that likes to uh, to build a lot. We uh, Building is really a, a core part of our culture and we build a lot of our own tools. We build a lot of our own, I mean, the entire application we support is built in house. We build our own data centers. So if you're somebody who likes to build things, you know, this is a great place to come and do that. The build metaphor probably holds quite quite true, given given you're, you're working in around construction. So, like tie this together for folks. What what tech challenges are you guys confronting? You know, the the core business is is it it you you do a lot of consumer facing work, right? You're you're literally in 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 building people's homes, so you're quite a household name in that sense. 
Uh, but the tech team may be harder for folks to connect those dots. So what tech challenges are you guys confronting and what are you working on? So first of all, I love the pun, household name. Uh, love that. We <laughs> actually so are sorry. not- I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> Couldn't pass it up. Um, so it's interesting, you know, on the technology front, our focus has been on enabling the business to be successful. And so most of what we built to date has really been internally facing. And we're only at this point beginning to build tools that support the homeowners that reach out beyond the walls, which is an exciting new challenge for us. Um, I think that uh, uh, the biggest technical challenges we face are we have chosen from the beginning to build the technology that supports the business really end to end which is an amazing benefit in that we can build it exactly the way that we need to be successful. But it also comes with it the responsibility to build you know, basically enough technology to support the entire business. And as this business continues to scale, and it, we really are a growth company, um, keeping up with the, the needs of the business. I talked about being nationwide and serving all these various territories and serving the needs of uh, new employees that come into our offices every single day. There's just a tremendous need to keep up with that so scale is an interesting challenge. And I don't just mean the number of clicks per minute. I actually mean, you know, the number of things that we can do to make the business successful. That's great. Um, the inevitable question. Okay. You've, you've told me a bit about what. If one was interested in learning a bit more. Did I just drop? Sorry, I just dropped there for a minute. I will. Yeah, I lost you for a minute there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Quite know what happened there. We'll we will we'll edit. I'll cut that. Um, how do candidates who are interested in power? How do they put their best foot forward? I think putting the best foot forward is uh, again. I mentioned being curious, right? If if you're someone who shows up uh, to the interview and has uh, has done a little bit of research about um, our, you know our background and and what we what we value, the uh, the culture, I think that that shows well. Um, if you're somebody who shows an interest in um, being a great developer and like uh, continuing to, to improve your own skills and wanting to participate in more than just, you know, delivering your work, I think, I think that shows really well. Um, and again, being curious about how what you build is actually used. At the end of the day, we all build software for people. And that's a really important thing. We're not just building it for other uh, technologists. We're not building it for other developers. We're building it for people who will actually use it. Um, so having an understanding of that is uh, is really important. Mm. Ben, I appreciate the conversation. Thanks for a look inside the business and technology team at Power Home Remodeling. Thanks for the invitation. I enjoyed it. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see everyone at the Technically Developers Conference in person on Tuesday, May 10th. Uh, if this is after the fact, still very valuable to learn a little bit about power. Um, and if that's the case, you probably can click right here and see additional insights that technically looks at uh, around tech teams and skills for growing your own company. Um, we'll see everyone next time. Thanks so much. Bye.